down for Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory. Stephanie Butterworth owns a department store in the town. She joins us now. Stephanie, it is a snap lockdown that's been announced there for Tennant Creek. What's it like for you and your family going into immediate lockdown? Hi, Miriam. How are you? Yeah, uh, pretty nerve wracking, I suppose. Um, you know, there's been a bit of if the news started travelling fast through town this morning, uh, yesterday we had sort of heard some sort of rumours and then, yeah, this morning uh, about 11 o'clock we just got notified um, that, yeah, it was immediate lockdown. Um, basically shut the doors and, yeah, 72 hours at this stage. How you So, yeah, then... very, very daunting being a business owner going into Christmas, generally, you know, our busiest week of the year um, coming up next week. So it is really nerve-wracking. Yeah, no, you were mentioning the rumours swirling yesterday and then the lockdown announced at 11 o'clock your time. So how well prepared have you been for this and what's it meant for, I mean, it's a family business and you've got your own children to take care of as well. What, what does that mean for you? Yeah, that's right. As I said, the rumours started yesterday. Um, you know, government didn't sort of come out and say anything until this morning. So it was sort of, there wasn't really any planning we could do because you didn't know whether, it, you know, what was happening, whether it was going to end in a lockdown or whether there was even cases here. Um, but yeah, to find that out this morning, I had a big overwhelming, you know, gush of emotion that come over me. You know, obviously we've got some of the most vulnerable population in Australia living here and I understand why it needs to be done and we need to keep these people safe, you know, but at the same time, not being able to trade and having five children, you know, and, yeah, overheads and everything else that we need to sort of keep ticking along, um, you know, financially it's going to put a big strain on us, absolutely. So that is obviously a key consideration. What else um, is involved there with managing this SNAP lockdown, especially when it comes to, you know, being asked to isolate, get tested? How is that being managed in the town? Yeah, so they've set up a testing station about two days ago here. So they have been sort of um, pushing everyone to get tested. Uh, we've got a very low vaccination rate here. I think we're still below 70% double dosed back. So that's why they've had to sort of act as swiftly as they have, I suppose, and why they've had to go into a lockdown, you know, rather than opposed to being able to let vaccinate, vaccinated people um, sort of business as normal. But... Yeah, um, as I said, there's an eerie feeling around town. I don't think, you know, we didn't really know how serious to take it, I suppose, until the media release come out today. Um, and now, yeah, frantically, there's been a lot of cars rushing through. I've not, I drove down the street earlier and noticed that the drive-through clinic is obviously getting a lot busier and busier with all the testing. Um, so now it's just the next couple of days, just waiting eagerly to see what results are and see how far this has spread in our town. So, um, Stephanie, you mentioned there about the low vaccination rate in the town. What's in place to help people, to encourage people? Are the, um, you know, the, the number of vaccines available enough for people? I don't think it's about a lack of number of um, vaccines. I think the vaccines are here. It's just a matter of, um, I suppose, getting the messaging out. People are very anxious. People are very nervous. I suppose it's all something very new. So I think it's more so uh, people don't want to be vaccinated or are unsure, you know, about vaccination is why it's so low at the moment. And I mean, this at this stage is a 72 hour lockdown. You've got um, little ones there with <laughs> That's you. That's my daughter. Yeah. I did come and hide outside. And find no, me. we understand. And of course, um, you know, we do have Christmas just around the corner. So just what are you hoping for there? Um, look, I really hope it is only the 72 hours and we've moved fast and we can get these cases identified. And um, But, you know, it is a nerve-wracking time. As I said, they've had it in our... Uh, they've been saying it's been in our wastewater since last week, which is extremely concerning that it has been circulating in the community clearly for that long and they've only just announced it today. Um, you know, so it does make me wonder whether it's going to be longer than the 72 hours. I really hope that, you know, small businesses get the opportunity to trade again next week. Um, but at the moment, there's really, <laughs> yeah, it's just, we just have to play it by here, I suppose, um, and yeah. hope that, you know, people can come in and shop for Christmas and that people can still have a Christmas. We do hope so as well. You're doing an incredible job there keeping you across everything, especially with family as well, all sticking together. We do wish you all the best. Thank you so much for speaking to us on ABC News. Stephanie Butterworth there in Tennant Creek. Thank you.